It's food o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we got something hot and spicy to show you. This is from Heron Foods, part of the B&M stores. Uh, and this is their chicken fowl. 350 grams in weight, frozen. Uh, a new chicken fowl mega hot curry. Uh, cooked chicken pieces and a tomato curry sauce with peppers, limited edition, mega hot pepper on the bottom. These things always seem to come out around the Halloween time of year, kind of September, October time. Uh, and interestingly, this has got cooked chicken breast, which I'm very pleased about, but there's only 20% chicken. It's showing you on the label there, full of chicken, isn't it? But only 20% chicken. The other thing I wanted to mention, and this is a big one, I suppose, is I'm kind of hoping that the chicken in here is going to be good because I only paid two pound for this. It only cost two pound. So without further ado, then let's pop the with a fork, pop the plastic lid on the top. Cooking instructions uh, goes in an oven gas max six, 25 minutes. Give it a good stir, then a further 15 minutes. Pierce film lid several times. I'll be back when this is cooked. Right, this chicken fowl curry is ready. And I'm gonna be honest with you, the whole house smells like it smells like it's been kind of covered in mustard gas or something. It really is potent. Let's grab it from underneath. Look at my oven glove. Blooming awful. And <laughs> I just realized. You know when you use something on a daily basis and you don't realise like it's nearly hauled through? <laughs> right, uh, I'm going to just crack on, grab it here and tip it. Whoa, look at that. I think there's enough chicken in there to be honest. I was kind of complaining earlier, wasn't I, that it was only... 20% chicken, but that's one fifth of the whole ingredients. Something like this for two pound. Can't really overly complain, can you? Right. It's a bit stinky. It really is. It's a bit. Oof. I think what's happened here, because you can't buy this sort of thing in Iceland anymore. I think the company that probably made these, because they're in the same containers that they used to be in for Iceland, that same shape. <clears throat> I think they're now making this for Heron Foods instead of Iceland. Which I suppose is Iceland's loss, isn't it? Iceland's loss and Heron Foods' gains, because you're always going to get, I think there's already three or four of these videos on YouTube. It's, it's, if anything else, is good advertising, isn't it? So, looks like there's pepper in here. Um, it smells a little bit coconutty. It smells very nice, actually. It's just, when it was cooking, it was still in the house with... Not sure what the wife is going to say when she gets in from work. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, it's quite nice. It's hot, it really is hot, wow. Ginger, garlic, red chili pepper puree even. Chili powder, crushed dried red chilies, and mustard powder, yeah, there's mustard powder. That's what was causing the house to smell like mustard gas. Oh, that's warm. Tasty though, really tasty. Um, shame it's kind of boiling hot. Oh, it's one of those instant kind of makes your nose run. My nose is running already. Oh, this is phenomenal, phenomenal. Here's a bit of chicken. Hopefully the quality of the chicken's okay. But 
that's hot. For a two pound curry, this is really well priced. This is really well priced. If you can handle like an Indian vindaloo from the shop, from the Indian takeaway restaurant. Oh, it's making my nose itch. Oh, that is hot. Sweating. If you can handle an Indian takeaway restaurant style vindaloo, then I reckon this is about where a vindaloo is. And just to chuck something like this in the freezer, For the sake of two quid, I think it's a bargain, absolute bargain. Chicken is nice. Chicken's really good. I've been... Now there's nothing worse for me than buying something like this and the chicken being boingy and kind of springy and rubbery. Almost like you're eating the cartilage type of thing. It's mechanically shoved together chicken breast. I know it's not sliced chicken breast. I know it's mechanically kind of put together. I do understand that. But you can get good, good curries and bad. Now, I've been to Sainsbury's and I've paid four or five pound for one of these curries before now. It might have even been a vindaloo. And the chicken was inedible inedible in a four or five pound curry fast forward two years i've gone to heron foods picked up this chicken fowl and the chicken's fine absolutely fine for two pounds half the price half the price of the sainsbury's It's hot though. It is. It's um. That's a real kind of. It's a lovely. It's almost like a like a lovely kind of hot soup like consistency to it. Of course, curry. I think curry is a kind of soup based. It means in Indian, I think. Like a hot hot soup, I believe. Mm. Nice. That's nice. Honestly, it's it's my biggest concern was the chicken. My biggest concern in this was the chicken, but the chicken's absolutely fine. Mm. That bit more a little bit. That bit of chicken then you could tell it was ultra processed <laughs> but still it was okay just manageable i'm starting to struggle now though I'm, I'm starting to struggle with the dish itself in terms of the heat so i'm not gonna eat more any more of the <laughs> oh, oh. you when you're not expecting it you think you go oh, i think you're all singing all dancing and then all of a sudden it just boom it just catches you oh that is hot it's a lovely fruity spiciness though it's not like hot for the sake of being hot mm. you get the ginger you get the garlic you get the chilli. Okay, you got a massive chilli burn too, but that's to be expected. I'm going to rate this. Am I going to eat the rest of that? I'll probably eat some of the chicken. I'll probably eat some more of the sauce. My goodness me. If you want to set yourself a challenge, order one of these chicken fowls. I... I'm, I think I'd struggle to finish it, to be all. There's no point in me standing here saying, yeah, I'm going to finish it off camera. 
I'm probably going to struggle to finish it. it it's blooming hot. There's a reason why there's fire on the back and fire on the front. But it's fun. It's fun. It's why you click the play button to watch it. It's fun, isn't it? It's a, it's a fun video to watch me struggle with this heat. I'm going to rate it on one, the quality of the chicken, two, the price, which was two pound, and three, calling it a chicken fowl, saying mega hot curry, and actually kind of pulling through with that. And actually, it is very, very hot. So it's ticking the boxes with chicken quality, with the price, and for the heat. I'm going to give that a nine out of 10. Nine out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.